Welcome back friends today. We're gonna to be taking a look at the ultimate mowing and bailing pack I was over on mr. Sealy P's discord and I saw somebody was having trouble with getting it all set up and This is one of my favorite mods So I figured I'd do a quick video on how to get all of this set up so that it works out correctly for you You will need the ultimate mowing and bailing pack by Mac trucker 921. I'm also using the case IH right now Magnum which I believe is by Mac Trucker as well, and the John Deere 4755 by Ridiculous Dominic. You don't necessarily have to use these tractors, but you do need tractors with a lot of power because once you add all this stuff together, it does eat up your horsepower. If we take a look at it in the store, and I'm just going to go right to it under mods and DLC because you find everything a little bit faster that way, but you can go into mowers and attachments and everything and buy all separately in the store like normal if you want to. So the convert lens right here are going to be 82 and then 240. I'm going to pull up a calculator real quick here to add everything up just so that you know how much the full setup needs. You can always add it up on your own if you want to as well if you're not doing the whole setup. You're going to need 230 horsepower for your baler. If you're doing the tether, you need another 80 horsepower. And, oh, I'm sorry, that's the windrow. And if you're doing the tether, you need another 30 horsepower. So if you're setting it up for grass like that, you're gonna need at least 662 horsepower, which is a lot for some of the medium and definitely the smaller tractors. So let's take a look at how this all sets up. I've got this one set up right now. And I am gonna show you real quick here that works. And then we will go ahead and look at how the pieces are all put together because there are a lot of different options in this pack so let me get everything unfolded and lowered and then we'll get it all turned on as well and unfold the baler and we'll go ahead and turn our trailer into the operating position this trailer is not in the ultimate mowing and bailing pack this is the 30 foot uh, let me pull it up really fast here so it is the 30 foot flatbed auto loading bale trailer and this is by mac trucker 921 as well so let's just show this whole setup off real quick and i shut off the engine instead of turning on the mower now sometimes there are problems if you don't turn it all on going from start to finish but as long as you do it that way you're not going to have any sort of issue now you can see for some reason it's starting with my swath mode incorrect so i am going to fix that real quick because we want our three point hitch down on the mower and we want to be swathing so we've got swathing hitch up, which you can see is picking the tether up off the ground. So we're going to hit it again and we are swathing hitch down. Now it does seem a little bit goofy that we've got the windrow on there behind the tether, but you can see that tether puts out even a little bit wider path than just the tether itself. So to make sure that we don't lose any hay going into the baler there, it just helps it and it helps with the whole connection setup. So you can see this all runs pretty well. I will say part of it's because we've got the very large tractor and I do have front wheel weights on to help balance things out too. The back end gets to be really heavy with all of this equipment hanging off of it, seeing as you're connected essentially to your three point and you're not really running a trailer until you get all the way back to your windrow there. So it's gonna spit out this bale here for us in a second. You'll see then the bale trailer will go ahead and automatically load it up if I don't run into everything. And you can see that this is working and I can turn just fine as long as I don't run the trailer into the sidewall there. And it just works. So let's take a look at how this is all actually set up. We're gonna shut everything down real quick. Let's turn it back on. And I'm gonna detach everything from the back forwards detach 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 all right so let's take a look here the front mower is just a complete standard setup so if we go to it in the shop there's no special selections that you need to worry about you're just selecting the mower and if you want it set up as a viking vicon or cavernland 
Now, the back mower, though, we are going to start getting into some options. And with that, we've got, first off, if we want work mode, BX or not, you do. This is your swather. I know it adds on another 15 grand, but it is worth it so that you don't have to worry about not collecting stuff up correctly if you're doing hay. If you're doing silage, you can always get this separate windrow and it won't matter. But honestly, if you get this, you don't need the windrow. And I think that works out cheaper. Design again is just whether it's Vicon or Cavernland. Rear hitch. You are going to want a rear hitch. We're going to want the rear three point with this setup. Now, there are a lot of other options. None of that matters right now because the tether, you can only do a three point to that mower. So you're going to do the mower as a three point so it'll hook up to the tether. And then the tether, you can see, is going to get a three point as well. So if we take a look at that tether real fast, all the way over here, we've got tether and you've got rear hitch is your only option. And you can select any of them, but you're going to want the three point so that you can hook up your windrow. And then since the windrow gets hooked up to the baler, that you're going to need something different. That is going to be running a three point low, or I think you can actually do the ball hitch low as well for the trailer or for this particular baler. But let's take a look at it here. So again, rear hitch, and you want to make sure you go with the low. If you go with the high, it's not going to hook up right because it will be too high for it to actually connect. And then your mower here or your baler. Yeah, see, it actually shows the ball. You can use either the ball or the pin hitch on the balers. So that does give you a little bit of leeway that way. Then on our baler here, we've got a ball hitch off the back of it just to run your trailer and same thing that trailer gives you leeway whether you use a ball or a pin hitch and then to hook it all up this might be a little bit difficult to do like this it is much easier to hook up from the back forwards but we're going to try doing it this way since we're all in line so we've got our mower hooked up we've got our tether hooked up we've got the windrow We've got the baler. Oh, no, we don't. We disconnected somewhere. There we go. All right, we've got our tether. Now we've got the baler, and now that should be close enough. There we go for the trailer. So that is how you hook it up to run hay. Now, like I said, you can swap out and not do... If you're doing the tether, you have to have your windrow on here because it's not going to get the edges. You could get rid of this windrow. It's just that it might not collect your entire row when you go through. It should or it should come close, but on turns, it definitely helps having the windrow because you get a lot of wiggle room by the fact that it's going to collect that whole swath and keep you much closer in line. You still might miss a little bit, but it usually helps. Yeah, see, we're taking a pretty tight turn there, and you are still collecting that whole swath. I missed a little bit over here when we came through, but at the very least, it helps. So, really, you're best off using the windrow. If you're tight on money, skip it, but you might be doing two or three passes to pick everything up. All right, so let's take a look at if we are doing this for silage instead, because it is a different setup for silage. Now, again, front mower. Is just a standard front mower. Rear mower. You're going to do the windrow, obviously, and you are going to do a low pin hitch. So again, if we take a look at it in the store, this time we're going to go for the low pin hitch. That way it'll connect up to your baler directly. And you're going to make sure when you start it up the first time that you're going to 
swathing. It doesn't matter whether you have three point hitch up or down because it's the low ball and that's not gonna affect anything. Then we can drop it. And right now it's not turning on, I think just because everything else is still up as well. So we're gonna drop our baler. And we're gonna unfold our baler. We're also gonna unfold our baler wrapper. And this time I did go ahead and opt for doing the trailer that is in this pack. It just holds a little bit less than the other trailer. So if you don't want to download a separate mod for it, you don't have to. You can just use the bail trailer that's in there. But now we can go through and turn everything on. Oh, we want you in operating position. You're all good. Okay. And automatic drop is on and make sure automatic drops on. Yep. On our bailer. So now we can go ahead and we are mowing. And if we turn off our baler trailer there, we'll get a little bit more speed because it's kind of slowing us down. So once this bale spits out, it'll automatically wrap and then it'll automatically drop. The only thing is if we have our baler trailer up, it's not going to pick it up. So in a second here, I'm going to turn that back into operating position, which will slow us back down again. Uh, actually, we're staying at speed. Okay, that's better. Oh, no, nope, now we're slowing down. So it's going to wrap. And it's going to spit it out just in the right position for that trailer to pick it up. So that's the setup you want to use if you're doing silage. I didn't go over the pin on the back of that bale wrapper simply because it's going to depend on whatever trailer you're using. Right now we've got the low, or we've got the pin hitch, that one really doesn't give you a high or low option, but we've got the pin hitch on there for it to mate up to this bale trailer. Alright, now the last thing I wanted to show you too, and this is not as big of a setup, I know that we're not worrying about it. So like I said, this is the 4755 by Ridiculous Dominic. This is one of my favorite tractors, and I do tend to use it all the time. And the problem with the Ultimate Mail ultimate bailing pack with it, ultimate mowing and bailing pack, is it's too heavy of a setup. So you can already see we have the front wheels not quite looking right. I mean, they're barely touching the ground, almost not touching the ground. And if we turn this on... Trailer is unfolded. Come on. There we go. And switch the swathing. So if we want to do some grass bales with this, or if we had the wrapper behind this to run silage too, you can see that I'm kind of not touching the ground with my front tires and I can't turn. That's a problem, and it's a problem I've seen with a lot of tractors. I've seen it even on that case I was using, but since I did the wheel weights, it kind of helped balance everything out. So, I do have a fix for that. Um, you're going to want to set up the rear mower differently. And, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to just reattach that for a second. We're going to detach our front mower. We're going to detach... Oh, come on. Detach the baler. And as you can see, that kind of frees us up too. So if you want to just use this separately and run without the baler, you can and it will work for you. But really, who wants to do that? If you're running the ultimate mowing and baling pack, you're trying to make things a lot quicker, a lot easier. You want to tow that baler behind you instead of having to come back for a second pass. So we're going to adjust our back mower a little bit here. And I just drove past our shop. All right. So what we're gonna have to do, the rear mower needs a three-point hitch. So we're gonna get this to where we can actually customize it. There we go. That should be good. And we're going to switch 
to a rear three-point hitch on the back mower. And now is where things are going to get really, really goofy. We're going to detach our front mower. And we're going to come around and pick up our rear mower. And I'm going to fold this up because... Oh, we are not going to fold that up because then my back wheels are going off. And we're going to pick up our front mower. And that's too much weight right now. So we're going to go ahead and buy a weight really quickly. Alright, so now that we have our weight, it's going to help offset the weight of our front mowers. I probably should have gone a little bit heavier with it, but once we get the baler on here, it's going to be just fine. The other way you can do it is if you want, instead, you can run a draw bar on that rear mower and have it sticking out the back still. But personally, I find this makes a little bit more sense because weights do kind of come in handy here and there. And a lot of the time you do start with one, two on the map. There we go. So now that we're all hooked up to our baler, now we're gonna be pulling everything just fine. We can drop both of our front mowers, drop our baler, and everything can get turned on. Why is that being goofy now? There we go, turn on Baylor, that's why. Okay, so now we can go along just fine and we can turn again and everything's all good. It just looks weird, but it works and it works well. All right, now if you really wanna do it with a draw bar so that it looks a little bit more normal, we're gonna pick up our front mower here and then we'll pick our back mower up on the back like normal which is going to start giving us a little bit of weight issue and then we are going to put our working to three point down we're going to attach the draw bar and I'm going to have to spin that baler just a little bit there we go. And then we're going to hook up our baler. And same thing, it's kind of working. You can see that really I still need a bit more weight in the front. Maybe if I put some wheel weights onto this, we'd be a little bit better. But this is why I prefer just running a weight on the back of it and then hooking up your baler. It looks weird, but it's really one of the best working methods if your tractor's not heavy enough. Anyways, everybody, that was the Ultimate Mowing and Baylor Pack by Mac Trucker 921 Let me know what setup is your favorite, what you guys think. Everyone have a great day. Happy gaming.